Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Vegacom and I'm going to do an EP review. It'll be the first one that I've ever done um, officially outside of the Yumino Garden album review I did last year. Uh, but if this does well, I'll continue to, to make some time. Uh, with this quarantine and the self-isolation and whatnot, I've been staying home all, all all week basically and uh, I'm not working right now so I decided to take it upon myself to do this review and uh, this album luckily came out about a day ago it's Stevie Zeta's new album Stargazer 2 um, so let me begin uh, this EP uh, brings us familiar feelings of finding love spending time with that significant individual and having nothing else matter uh, in those important moments in Stargazer 2 uh, you know it's it's those moments where you question yourself your being and what's out there in space. It's definitely an EP that I found to be extremely relatable to my life. Uh, and it is consistently, I like the angle that he takes a lot. I find it comforting just because, you know, hearing about or, or listening to other people going through the same experiences as yourself, it captures you to want to listen to them more, support them more, just because you know how those feelings are. You know what, what's felt in those experiences. My favorite track off the album has to be hands down, Lost in Bruges. The instruments, the vivid imagery from Stevie's lyrics, they're calming and relatable. I also just overall like the way it sounds. It has Stevie Zeta all over it. Since the beginning of when I started listening to him until now, it's it's comforting that his style, his his genre has stayed the same and, and I like it. Sometimes change is good, sometimes change is not. In this aspect, I like to think that this is a consistent, um, style that he's kept that I really enjoy. Uh, there are two instrumental tracks on the EP, Cosmic Transmission and a Disco Outro. I like those two a lot as well, uh, mainly because I feel like instrumentals aren't taken so kindly. In my respective opinion, what I'm trying to say is you don't really hear a lot of instrumental uh, tracks on albums and EPs nowadays. Usually everything has music, uh, excuse me, usually everything has some sort of lyrics to, to incorporate vocals. So this was refreshing. Uh, only other artists that I know of is Notes from Underground. I know uh, Lachlan, he adds instrumental to his EPs and I, I love them. I like them a lot, especially when you're trying to study and you want something that's, you know, more mellowed out, calm, and doesn't have talking because because sometimes talking can be distracting. It, it's nice to have these tracks available. Uh, overall, this EP, I like the calm indie sound he's able to draw up through raw unmastered EPs and singles that he's given us on SoundCloud. I hope he continues playing and if by any chance, if Stevie Zeta comes across this uh, review, keep going, man. Big things ahead for sure. You've got a lot of untapped talent and there's a lot of potential behind it. And if you continue getting music like this, some of my favorite tracks, um, Romanticize, that is my favorite song overall. And, and off this album, uh, Lost in Bruges, I really enjoyed that album, that song as well. It was it was great. And I apologize that I keep saying album, it's an, it's an EP. If there's one complaint, considering this is a review of course, and I want to be unbiased as possible, I would have loved some vocals on a disco outro. I know what I just said about instrumentals a moment ago, but I am a huge fan of synthesizers and anytime I hear that, I've got to have vocals in in any song that has synthesizers. They just add lovely tones and they make the songs very lively. And it just, I don't know, to me it feels right, you know? Yeah, but this is just an opinion. But still love the song. That instrumental is so fun to listen to. I would recommend the six song EP and this artist. Other songs like Patience and If Only The Moon that are also on this EP, you'll find them enjoyable. It, they're easy to listen to as well. It's so easy to get into this artist. Uh, and definitely I would like to say, to whoever's watching, support your upcoming indie artist. Don't sleep on this guy. Trust me, he's he's good. You'll find his music very fun, enjoyable to listen to, and they'll stick in they'll stick in your head for days. I hope you all enjoyed this EP review. Uh, again, this is my first time doing one officially. Uh, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe for more content. If you would love to leave some constructive criticism, go ahead and leave some comments below. I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on comments. I want to know how I can improve this. Maybe I left some things out. Maybe I wasn't uh, I wasn't so detailed about what I liked and what I didn't like. Uh, let me know how I can be much more in depth when it comes to album and EP reviews. I appreciate your time. Thank you.